Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today's topic is duck number and we will see how to write a logic or a program of a duck number. So let's start with the definition. So duck number is a number which has zeros present in it but there should be no zero present in the beginning of the number. So very simple definition is there. They are saying a number should have zero in it but there should not be any zero in the beginning of the number so here examples we have so three two one zero seven eight zero nine one zero two three they are duck numbers obviously because they have zeros present in it whereas this number this number starts from zero so this is not your duck number because definition says there should not be zero present in the beginning of the number so this is not your duck number similarly this is not your duck number similarly this is also not your duck number because this number is not having any zero the condition is the number should have zeros but should not be in the beginning of the number so very simple definition so our approach to create to write program of that number is we will take any number as a input and we will convert this number into string after that we will if when this number will be created in string what we will do we will check whether this first position is having zero this position having zero this or this and so on so we will check if we get zero so that means your duck number is there but same way we will check that first position should not be zero so let's see with the help of program So this is program we have created here some variables we have taken integer variables num i len c and string variable and of this cat variable. So we will start with that enter the number. We will ask the user to enter the, any number. So we have captured that number in num and this one this is to convert our number into string so this is this syntax you must be knowing integer to integer dot to string so this function converts our number into string and it will store our string into s value after that we will calculate the length of our number suppose we have number suppose we have this number 3 to 1 0 so length of this number is 4 because this 1 2 3 4 suppose our number is 567 so length of this number is 3 after that after calculating the length what we will do, we will run our for loop from first position to less than that length. Why from first position? Why not from, sorry, why from 1? Why not from 0? You must be knowing that that string starts from 0. Because our number is converted into string and string starts from 0. But still we are checking from 1. Why? Because at 0 position we do not need to check. Only we will see whether 0 position, that first position is having 0 or not. Okay. So we will start from 1 and we will check whether s dot pair at first position equals to 0. If yes, then it will increment this C variable. 
after that second position we will check whether we are getting at second position that zero then it will implement this counter value now what they have this after completing this loop what we, this syntax is doing we are checking the first position of our string so first position of any string suppose our string is 3710 so it will check the first position that is three position third number 3 so it will check for the first position so whatever char at zero whatever char at zero position it will capture in first variable and after that if counter variable is greater than zero that means obviously there is something there in that in number that is equal to zero or first position should not be zero first variable what it is kept during the char at first position okay so it will capture the char at first position in it and we will check it should not be zero if these both conditions are satisfied then the number is double otherwise the number is not double so let me explain here see here Suppose our number is three two one zero. So this is our. Suppose we converted this into our length. Sorry, string variable. String. So this is your first position. This is second, third, fourth. But what happens in string? This is your zero position. This is your first, second, and third. So this is how we are capturing our char at zero so we will see whether this is what is it is it should not be zero here char at zero so let's run this one enter any number So this is not your that number because this number starts from zero. This number is your that number because it has zero in it. And with one more example, let's see. So this is also not your that number because this number has no zero. So thank you for watching the video.